Hello and welcome to another lesson in numerical analysis. So today we're talking about the divided difference and we should be using to solve an example. So this here is the notation for the divided difference. So for instance, with the first divided difference, thus when we have n equals one, the it is given by what we see here equals what we see here, which is the same as this thing here. Alright, so what this thing means is the divided difference of xi and xi plus 1. And it's just given as the functional value of f of xi plus 1 minus f of, f of xi then minus the difference between the two right so which is the same as this and the second difference is when you have n equals 2 and that one is when you have xi xi plus 1 xi plus 2 and that is given by what we can see here right and when you try to do simplifications we get this so the most important thing here for you is to know how to compute the divided difference table because that's what you mostly use when we are solving questions and understanding this topic is very important for you because it will help make things very easy for you when you are doing interpolation and you are using the new thing divided difference all right so let's try to construct a divided difference table so here we consider these three points four points sorry so we consider these four points so point one point two point three and point four so we write down the values for our x and the values for our f and this here is our first divided difference this is our second divided difference and this is our third divided difference so the first divided difference is just going to be first divided difference of x0 and x1 which we can see here and this is given by the difference between this and this then divided by this and that don't worry as we move on we will try to explain it to you better so this is also the first divided difference between these two and we have this and after that we have the second divided difference which is going to be that of this and this and this is going to be that of this and this then since we have four points that means you are going to find up to the n minus one so the third difference that's what you can find here and that is just the difference between this and this over this minus this so this is the table let's try to explain how to find this thing that you've marked in red ink. So with the first one, finding for your f of um, your finite difference of divided difference of x not x1 is given as this, as we can see here. So it is just this minus this. So the functional value of f1 minus f0 over x1 minus x0. That's of this is also given as this. So when you look at the formula critically, you realize that um carefully realize that it is very simple and it follows a certain common pattern all right so this happens to be the first divided difference then now let's go to the second divided difference so in the second divided difference we always have three of the x's and we always bring it to the first order for us to be able to solve it so it's just going to be the divided difference of these two points here then minus these two points here then all over s2 minus x naught and what you can see here and that of this is also this you can look at this critical and you realize it follows the same pattern as this we can and the third divided difference is going to be you're going to have four points here which is going to be given by this which we've already computed in the second difference and minus x3 minus x naught. So it's always the n minus the 
starting point. So this is how we construct our divided difference table. So let us test our knowledge on what we've done so far with an example. So the example says we should construct a divided difference for the data given below. So this happens to be our data. So you can see we have how many points? One, two, three, four, five. So that means you'll be able to find out to the fourth divided difference. Okay. So let's construct our table to solve the question. So these are the values for our x's and our f of x. Then our first divided difference, the second, the third, and the fourth. So this is just going to follow the pattern from the table which we've already discussed previously. So this place is going to be the divided difference of these two points. We we'll get some here, another here, and another here. So we are going to get four. So actually one trick to you should know is that you realize that here we have five points here. As you find that this will reduce to four, three, two, and finally one. So this is going to be actually the thing you are supposed to find for. As I said, if you look at this critically, this is from the table. It's very simple. So now the next thing to do is to look at how to compute them and insert them into our table. Okay. So with our first divided difference, so we are finding for the first divided difference. We know that our f of s naught x1 is giving us f of 1 minus f naught, right? All over x1 minus x naught. And from the question, we have f1 to be 33 and f naught to be 1, 2, 4, 5. And this is x1 and this is x naught. So making substitution, we are going to get 33 minus 1245. All about what we can see here, which is going to give us negative 404. Then we also compute the second first divided difference, which is given by this formula here. And when you look through the table, you realize that F2 is 5, F1 is 33, X2 is 0, and X1 is negative 1. So making that computation is going to give us negative 28 then it follows with our f of x2 x3 which is going to give us f3 minus f2 then s3 minus x2 and from the table f3 is 9 f2 is 5 s3 is 2 and x2 is 0 and making this will give us computation will give us 2 Next one, the divided difference of S3 and X4. And that is given by this formula here. By now, you should be familiar with the formulas. So, F4 from the question is 1335, and X3 is 9, S4 is 5, and X3 is 2. So, making substitution and computing is going to give you 442. And that happens to be the values for the first divided difference. So, this, that, this, and that. And we are good to go. Then now we go to the second divided difference. So with the second divided difference, we are supposed to compute this year, that year, and that year. So three things. So you realize that we are going to use the values from the first divided difference to compute that of the third. That of the second, sorry. So the second divided difference the first one is giving us this, and we've been explained that this formula is giving us what we can see here. So you realize that we already found this, and we've already found this too. So you can see this one here. We just found for it, and we just find this too. And our x2 is 0, and our x0 is negative 4. So you realize that we are going to get negative 28 minus negative 405 over 0 minus negative 4 and making this computation gives us 94 
So find for the second one is also giving by this formula. And we've already found this in the previous step. So you have to look at them in X3 and S1 from the question is what you can see here. So making this replacement is going to give us 10 for this. And with the last one under the second divided difference is going to be given by this formula here because it's a representation and making the necessary substitutions is going to give us 88. So now we are left with the third and the fourth. So with the third, we are supposed to find for two things, right? So you realize that the first thing you're supposed to find is this from the table, which we have explained is given by this formula. And we've already found this and that. So we just have to make substitution and look for S3 and X0 from our table. When we do that, we have what is here. And computing this gives us negative 14. Then the same applies to this, right? So there's a second thing we are supposed to find. And when we make the necessary substitution, we are going to get 13. So the next thing to find for the fourth divided difference, and that one is also given by this here from the table, you can see that which in terms of expansion is given as this. All right, so we've already found this in the previous step, this, and we can find this from our table. So making the necessary substitution is going to give us 13 minus negative 14 over 5 minus minus 4, which is going to give us 3. So that means we found everything that we are supposed to find. So our completed table becomes this, as we can see here. This happens to be the solution to the problem. So, thank you very much. Please like the video if it helps you, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I wish you all the best.